basically when I filled the form to submit the talk, I forgot to fill some name for it. I just wrote Krita dot dot and I, then I was waiting, thinking and then I s went for another f input form and then I forgot to make some name for it, so it's called just Krita. But let's let's start with some introduction. So I'm Lukas Tordi, I am a Krita developer and I'm also uh, a Caligra developer. Krita is a part of a Caligra, if you, if, if you know. Uh, I used to work for Nokia when Nokia was working on the Migo phones and we were doing some work for them. And uh, I come from Slovakia and I belong to the core of the developers of Krita. Uh, then I have with me Timothy Giet, French artist from France. He is an uh, active Krita user, active Krita artist. And he's also contributing with, with the presets. You're, you're going very fast with the slides. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, do you know what is Krita? Everybody knows, yeah? It's a KD painting application for, for painting, for drawing, for, uh, concept art and for, uh, for creating comics also, yeah? It works on multiple platforms, but I will get to that. First, I want to also mention how we develop Krita. I think it is important for open source projects to work closely with their users. And we are trying to do that. Uh, we are trying to work closely with artists. Uh, we are trying to work closely with Timothy because he is an artist. We are trying to work with uh, David Rebois. He's very famous for Sintel and he's now uh, doing, he did some concept art for uh, open source movie Man Mango. Uh, we work with Ramon Miranda, he's helping us. And, and many more artists that, that who uh, sends bug reports, who sends workflow impro improvements, who sends who sends us the, their art and so on and so on. It's really important for us to get a feedback. So if you want to shape the future of Krita, get in touch with us. You have many options. You can use mailing list, you can use IRC or whatever. Just speak out and we, we really are responsive to your needs. Uh, the outcome of the, the 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 cooperation with the artists is uh, a praise from the artists. Uh, David Rewa made a huge list uh, of things he liked in Krita, and um, here is a cloud of words that uh, uh, is created from the list of the features he, as a professional um, illustrator, uh, likes. And um, I would like to pick up, I don't know, he likes CMIK support, or he likes brush engines, he likes fast responsive painting, he likes uh, support of multiple formats, like uh, we support Aura. Aura is good for, in, uh, for interoperability with other open source softwares. We also are trying to support the formats for, uh, from proprietary world. Uh, we want to be interoperable with uh, Adobe projects. I don't know. He likes also incremental saving. Okay, uh, then I want to talk a little bit about the achievements that we made this year. This year for Krita uh, was quite successful, really successful. Uh, what I want to point out is that we have finally Windows installer. So you can get Krita on Windows. Uh, we have around 10,000 downloads per month of the Caligra installer. Krita is a part of Caligra. And if you want to install Krita on Windows, you have to, for now, download uh, Caligra installer and you get Office applications for free. But uh, users are asking for a single Krita installer. Uh, we also have some unstable release of the Windows installer of Krita for Windows. And currently we are solving the problems with the, the platform Windows because there are so many Windows specific bugs 
we need a developer for that and every developer of Krita is working on free software on free operational system on Linux yeah so it's kind of problem for us to support uh, Windows the situation is similar 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 uh, similar to to GIMP they I think GIMP developers just cross compile GIMP for Windows yeah they don't develop GIMP on Windows I suppose and the next achievement was a uh, concept art for Mango. It's a uh, David Revoa created uh, 150 pages long uh, PDF file for, full of frames of uh, the concept art for the open source movie that is Blender Institution doing, and and that is really um, it makes me really happy that he's able to want to. It, uh, it really makes me happy that he is able to use Krita for creating such a huge amount of art and he's happy with Krita and its performance. Another achievement was uh, Timothy's work. Uh, this year we we printed the uh, first comic made with Krita. He created also a tutorial DVD so we have some first foundation for the documentation. Hoppa! Uh, okay, achievements. The future. Uh, uh, Google Summer of Code projects are the future of Krita these days. Um, oh, last year we had many improvements. What I would like to pick out is the import, uh, the support of the PSD format, uh, Adobe fi file format. The import is working. Uh, and the student promised also to work on the export so you will be probably able to export data to Photoshop if you need to work with somebody who's dependent on Photoshop uh, for Google Summer of Co you had a question it's probably part of the Criteno library for that uh, for the Google Summer of Code 2012, for this year, um, what I would like to pick out is the one student wants to try to implement brush engine that, that simulates painting with the sand. I don't know if you uh, see the, the so those videos on YouTube where the artists from I think somewhere from Russia, motherland, was painting with the sand and creating beautiful art with that and the student is trying to repli re replicate this effect in Krita and uh, you know another very promising project is uh, is about uh, importing blender models and uh, in Krita we have some kind of assistance that we will demonstrate for you and the promising project is about importing uh, three-dimensional uh, model from Blender into Krita that will help you to guide you to paint in the perspective. Okay, now we want to demonstrate some features that we added to Krita this year. Uh, we will start with texture painting. This feature is not available in different packages like in my painting or GIMP but it is available in a GIMP painter this feature is about um, giving uh, a texture to objects you want to paint on basically you use some brush mask and uh, use some uh, pattern to, to create a texture this feature was requested by David Revoa. He wrote a long article about it, describing the features he requests. Uh, right now, Timothy is showing the, the the tweaking of the preset in the brush editor and uh, checking the result in the scratch box. You, you build up a preset and you have small scratch box where you can check the, what the, the preset is actually doing right now. You don't see the scratch box? Oh, we are sorry. Yeah. 
you still want to see more Scratchbox, yeah? But maybe you can paint you can paint on the canvas right now, yeah? Or just a minute, so uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Some tweaking of the KD display settings. Nope. Okay, I can talk something about something funny, I don't know. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm very, really happy that Krita is becoming much more relevant these days. I, I, I remember that two years ago it was usually about uh, Blender, Gimp and the Inkscape, and this, this year I see that people mention Krita in their presentations and we are really happy about it because it means that Krita is becoming much more relevant this, this, this year. It makes me happy. Ready? Let's paint something on the on the canvas with the texture, or you don't want to paint. Ah, yeah. The feature is not uh, is still in development, and we had to finish it because mm, the artists usually uh, request more control ov over the final result of the texture, like support of the pressure mm, uh, would change the, the the roughness of the texture or something like that. Okay, that was a texture painting option. Let's uh, talk about the blending modes. Uh, Silvio Heinrich uh, from our community added so many blending modes that we had to make categories for every for the blending modes. Uh, the blending modes are from many of them are from uh, inspired by Photoshop blending modes. Actually, to be true, they are compatible with them. So. They do the same thing. Uh, there are so many blending modes that you actually have to pick some of them and add them to favorite categories. So, so you are fast when you you do want to do the speed painting. Yeah. Then we added a new feature requested again by the artists that comes from Photoshop. It's called Flow. Uh, historically in Krita we had a build up mode build up mode for the strokes build up mode allows you to paint in the way that uh, the, the stroke becomes darker and darker if if when you do the single stroke without uh, touch uh, without putting the pen outside of the tablet and And then we have a wash mode that, that works differently, but uh, I will wait for Dimati. This is wash? Yeah, this is wash mode. In the wash mode, the, the stroke does not uh, build up. I mean, uh, in the wash mode, the, the stroke has constant uh, opacity through the walk stroke. Uh, and if you change the opacity, uh, you, ch you change the opacity of the wall stroke and then, then there is a flow that allows you in the wash mode to have something like the build up mode but you can control it much more Th that means that if you go over over the same place in the single stroke you get the, the darker darker stroke so you can do shading with this usually okay uh, then we uh, Krita is uh, uh, full of dockers. The, 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 the dockers are the things that you can put away from the Krita if you want, or or you can dock them in, in left or right. Uh, we added this year uh, dockers like uh, image docker. Image docker is good for for the references. You you can load some image that you want to paint, and you can pick colors from the image. You can zoom into image and see details. Ah, canvas rotation. Ooh. Okay, and then we added some composition docker. Composition docker is good for painting of the storyboards or k-framing or for animation basically you have layers and their visibility and you can save the status of the layers uh, 
into uh, some mode so you can use composition docker to to, to see the, the single frames yeah okay then we have some new many new uh, we have a uh, improved we have improved a lot of the color selectors we have a uh, advanced color selector that is uh, aimed much more for painters here on the right side of the uh, color selector uh, you have uh, the colors that you used in your, in your painting so you can pick them up and you probably have to select some layer and, and composition yeah. and then in the lower part you have some sh uh, re related shading to the color you are painting with uh, then we have a specific color selector that is much more technical presses uh, you can use hex values or exact RGB values to, to, to select color uh, the, the nice feature of the color selectors are that they support color spaces. Uh, basically, the, the, by default, the, the color selectors are using the color space of the image, uh, but you can select different color space, I don't know, CMYK, and then you can safely pick the colors that are in the, the, the space of, of the CMYK color space. Or you can use grayscale uh, color space to be able to pick up shades of the colors. Okay, then we improved a little bit of, uh, we, we improved also the brushes. Uh, one brush engine was completely rewritten, it's called Curve Brush. Uh, this brush um, allows you to paint outlines uh, and has very nice fill effect. Uh, you can tweak this, the, the size of the, the, the stroke because the stroke is built up from the lines you, you set up the line width maybe better color yeah, I know I don't know some black probably it is really similar from uh, to it is a little bit similar to sketch brush engine the, the sketch brush engine comes from the the harmony project that mr. dupe of the HTML5 fame made, and this uh, this uh, curve brush comes from uh, some fork of the Harmony tool that can be found on the internet, but it is, it is tweaked and adapted to Krita, so that you can use many many Krita features that are shared about uh, among uh, brush engines. Then we added a new Gaussian brush mask to pixel brush. Uh, this mask is much more pre precise than the previous masks and you can use this mask to do some precise work because sometimes it is uh, it is hard to work pre precisely with the default brush masks that Krita provides. So you are able to easily pick single pixels. Uh, Krita was known for uh, having problems with the precision uh, when you work on a very low level, well, very low zooming level on the pixel level, basically. Okay. Then we have some improvements in the workflow for artists full screen mode. You can you can hide all the distractions in the application like the liar box and the dockers the toolbars and you can paint the full screen you have uh, many configuration options you can say that i want to see i don't know toolbox and it will be visible basically this mode helps you to paint without distraction and and maybe it mimics uh, my paint for me at least Okay, and then we added the tagging support of the presets. Uh, in Krita, you tend to have uh, quite a lot of presets for brush engines after some time, and uh, you have many options to search for them. You can use uh, name of the preset to search for a preset, and then you can give multiple tags for the preset and search by tags. Yeah, you can.
can tag the presets and the format and the backend for the tagging is uh, uh, compatible with GIMP. One one backend is XML file that is compatible with GIMP, and then there is some. Uh, you can also configure Krita to use KD's Nepomuk storage for saving the tags. Uh, next features are a pers perspective assistant or assistants in general. Basically, the idea is that you can put some uh, object on the canvas and uh, when you paint, this object guides your painting. So you can use like ellipse uh, gu guideline and you put uh, ellipse on the canvas or you can use perspective guideline and this guideline allows you to, to paint the perspective maybe some brush with yes this is cool and we have also sensor that allows you to change the size of the brush according to this uh, perspective so you can have a effect of of uh, losting the size in the perspective Okay, the most uh, f famous feature right now, or popular feature among artists, is uh, mirror painting. We added a mode for and support for all the brush engines to be able to paint uh, strokes that are vertically or horizontally synchronized, and it is really usable for for concept concept art and for creating characters uh, you can you can paint in the the mode that is uh, vertically mirrored or horizontally mirrored or, or both mirrored and then we have a special tool also it's called multi hand tool and this uh, this tool allows you to paint uh, symmetrically uh, with many brushes, you can you can set up the amount of the brushes, and and it gives you this symmetrical effect. Uh, you can also use mirror mode, or you can use a translate mode that is good for painting hairs or something like that. Basically, the idea is that you are painting with many brushes at the same time. Uh, for the future, uh, I would like to improve this tool in the way that you can use different presets for the different uh, uh, part of the strokes that is multi-hand creating. So far, you can use just one brush engine in one setting and create uh, this symmetrical or, or what mirrored strokes. Okay. Um, we will show you some some stuff that the artists have created with this. And here you can see that it's good for concept art. Uh, it is really alchemy style picture. Uh, this is also done with uh, mirror hand, mirror mirror painting. Uh, this is just a very nice painting done with Krita. Uh, this is a mandala that David Revoa painted with the multi-hand tool. There is a squirrel, but I don't know if you see it. Uh, okay. This, here are here you here you have four pictures made with mirror hand uh, mirror painting. And this is done with multi-hand, yeah, you already saw it, and artists are using it for some kind of a organic art. Okay, uh, then we added some new resources to Krita also. Uh, we are using in Krita uh, GIMP Paint Studio resource. Uh, th this is done by Ramon Miranda, it's a, it's a package of the brush masks and many other related resources. Then we are using uh, Anim Teams pack of presets. So when you install Krita, you have a lot of uh, pre-made presets and brushes available. Uh, I wanted to uh, mention that we also improved the work workflow uh, for painting in Krita in many areas, as you could uh, 
you could see and we improved some work with ICC profiles you can I don't know I remember that you can share the ICC profiles over get hot new stuff that's some sort of a exchanging uh, protocol in KDE and you can finally uh, select ICC profiles in runtime and then we have a new website uh, for Krita uh, done by Kubuntiak, one of our uh, community member uh, and nice feature about it uh, about this website is that you have a direct link for a chat so you can through website there is a web interface to IRC so you can the users can find us very easily just by clicking chat and fill some nickname and they are in and now we, we can have some qu place, uh, space for questions and we can and uh, Timothy will show some pictures all are done with Krita so questions Kaine? one question there Curve brush, curve brush. It's it is in Krita 2.4. In the description of the talk, uh, it is said that it will be released, but it was already released. So so, Krita 2.4 is released. You can download it and play with it. Curve brush. Peter. I think I will give a microphone to Timothy to explain it. Uh, CMYK su support is useful for artists. Uh, uh, mostly, if they work in RGB, they can uh, at the end control how it's converted uh, correctly to the profile of the printer or to work directly on the, if they already know the color profile of uh, the printer that will w print the work, they can already start the work on this color profile and have only printable colors. <laughs> yeah. Hi.
Fr from my understanding, it's about printing, but the artists prefer to work in CM CMIK to work directly also with the colors that they can use because the RGB CMIK transformation is somehow not easy. Yeah, is that still correct or? Okay. Okay. Some other question? Tom? Uh, so far we can do just symmetry. And yeah, yes, just, just, just radial. Just. Sorry, sorry. Aha, that, that's interesting idea. I will think about it. Maybe I will add it for, for the next version. Thank you. Any other question? Okay, we are done. Uh, I will give a word to Dimitri. Is, is your presentation now? Okay, thank you. <laughs>